we have the power to ask for what we want. We have the power to make a difference. We have a po the power to be more effective, but we don't know we have the power. And therefore, we might as well not have it. And I have a story that's a great example of how this can happen. Uh, I love attending events like this, and I don't just listen for information. I study style and I study content. Well, a few months back, I was at a convention where the luncheon keynote speaker was over the top hilarious. He had me laughing so hard my side hurt. He had me laughing so hard I snorted. <laughs> And I had just taken a sip of water, I know you know where this is going, <laughs> when he said something absolutely hysterical. I sprayed the whole table, and nobody cared because nobody noticed because they were all laughing too. That man was that good. Well, that evening was off for the conference, so I was headed to my room, and I was looking forward to a quiet evening alone when I saw the luncheon keynote speaker. So I went up to him, I said, fabulous job. Thanks so much uh, for, for, for being so amazing. And he said, thanks. He said, hey, a group of us are going to a celebration dinner tonight. You're welcome to join us if you like. Now, I had been looking forward to my quiet evening alone, but hey, I did need to eat. So I said, sure, I'll stop by. Well, by the time I stopped by, they were already in full celebration mode. They had clearly been through several rounds of cocktails, and they had had several uh, servings of hors d'oeuvres. And I sat there in amazement as I watched them drink round after round of cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. And then they moved on to beer, wine, and champagne. They had soup, salad. They had side dish. They had entree. They had dessert. If there's anything you can have in a meal that I didn't mention, they had it. Now, as for myself, I ordered a side dish, glass of water, no ice, thank you very much. I had a lovely time, and I handed some money to the person sitting next to me, went up to my room, very satisfied with my evening. Well, the next morning, I encountered a woman who had a much different experience that night. When she saw me, she latched onto me, and she said, you were smart. She said, you left just in time. Let me tell you what happened to me. She said, I had a salad and a glass of wine. When the check came, somebody said, oh, you know, the guest of honor shouldn't have to pay for his own celebration dinner, should he? And someone else said, I agree with you, he shouldn't. And you know what? He shouldn't have to pay for his wife's dinner or his mother's dinner either. So she said, someone had the bright idea that we split the check evenly among us. She said, my salad and glass of wine cost me $75. She went on and on. She said, can you believe their arrogance? Who do they think they are? I mean, I don't know what kind of high rollers they are, but I sure don't live according to their lifestyle. It's almost like they invited me just so that I could help pay for their meal. Mercifully, she saw someone else she knew. She latched onto that person. So that uh, took it to an ending. But I did regret that I didn't get to ask her. Why did you agree to those terms? Why did you agree to pay for something that you didn't get? Why did you agree to a deal that, that didn't agree with you? I mean, I was not there, but I would be very surprised if anyone was twisting her arm or holding a gun to her head or threatening the lives of her, her future children if she did not sign that credit card slip. You see, this woman thinks she was a victim, but I have another interpretation. I say she was a volunteer.